Um, Travis Bond, he'll wear, wear number 76. Uh, he's a guard out of North Carolina. The Vikings took him in the seventh round with the th pick number eight, 214 overall. He stands six foot six, 329 pounds, 35 and uh, half inch arm length, nine and five eighth inch, inch hands. Ran a 5.2740 yard dash, uh, 496 20 yard shuttle, 785 three cone drill, uh, 22 and a half uh, inch vertical, 98 inch broad jump, and 22 bench press reps. The, uh, his nickname is Treetop. I'm <laughs> a six foot six. Yes, that does uh, make sense. He has the uh, the positives on him. Are, uh, he has the length to keep tackles from the quarterback. Um, He's got quick feet and good mobility for his size. He overpowers linebackers and is tough to get off his block. Um, he keeps his legs churning. He's got a massive body, allows him to anchor and pass protection and engulf uh, defenders and run blocking. Uh, he played basketball, baseball, and was and did track and field. So he's got some mobility too for a, for a huge guy. Um, Negatives on him, uh, he can play with a high, with a high pad level and uh, can be slow to get his hands up. Defenders can get underneath him and pass protection. Uh, he's got trouble with quick defenders, therefore. Uh, inconsistent awareness and pass, pass protection uh, relies on his size, and he tends to lean into blockers rather than sort of blocking through them. Um, that tends to uh, uh, allow you to fall off blockers quicker than you, than you would if you were uh, just staying with them. Best suited on, on, uh, to uh, the guard position because of his uh, limited athletic ability. But these, the Vikings obviously, obviously took these two guys as guards, um, so they're not, not planning on playing him at a tackle. That, uh, the guard is our weaker position on both sides of the, the ball. Um, along the offensive line, although it's hard to say we had a you know we had a pretty damn good uh, offensive line with uh, with Adrian Peterson having the uh, the um, the year he did last year. Uh, even though I mean Charlie Johnson is is not ideal there, and they're still trying to figure out what Fosco can do there at the guard position on the on the right side. So um, so they're the you know they're they're. Drafting for depth here. They're also probably planning for the future, and uh, and these guys are developmental um, picks. So you know, look to the, see them to be uh, backups or or find themselves on the practice squad. And that's typically what you do with offensive linemen, unless you're drafting rock star. You know, like uh, um, Khalil uh, as your number one overall pick to be your your uh, left tackle for the next ten years. Um, Offensive linemen are often chosen in the later rounds as developmental picks to uh, play in uh, in a year or two. So, tell me what you think of these thought your thoughts about the Vikings remaining draft picks. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, like this video, share this video, subscribe, subscribe to this podcast, and uh, until next week, go Vikings.